Guys, I am gonna need your help. Now, I was hoping for this video to come out, for everything to be hunky-dory, like the rest of everything's been absolutely fantastic, but in all honesty, the van is struggling to start, right? She is starting, although she's very clunky, and I need to get myself on this VCDS software, right? But what I've realized is, I also need to be able to somehow translate my hotel into telling me if it's an injector problem. But I don't know whether the hotel is better than VCDS. I've ordered a cable for VCDS. I'm gonna need you guys to help me out. Now, as I mentioned, a couple of little deliveries today, door cable, we can definitely get that done because the handle is absolutely shagged on this door. So we need to get that done. I've also had a phenomenal delivery the best three pound I've ever spent on the screws for the wheel arch lining that you can or can't see in the back over there. That needs to go on as well because ultimately we've got that side, near side, without a wheel arching. So we need to get that done. When the van started, she's running really well, but it's just the starting of the van that's the problem. If I can nail this off, the van will be, then I can start looking at the interior, the exterior, everything else. Coolant is holding though. I will say that we've absolutely smashed the coolant with that oil cooler, so big shout out to all you guys advising me about the oil cooler as well. And a big shout out to some of the subscribers on there who've really been trying to help me out. Um, some I've not got in touch with yet, one of the lads at Scrapyard up in Blythe. Um, I need a back door for the back of the van, so I need to get that. Mel, a guy called Mel, top commenter all the time, has been trying to help me out. I bought a door cable for three pounds. It's cheaper than Mel sending me one out, so big shout out to you, Mel. But what I'm struggling with is trying to find the value and trying to find how these vehicles work and what codes I need to be looking at. Not codes, sorry. What live data I need to be looking at that's going to stop the car from starting, whether it's fuel related, whether it's injector related. And these are all new to me. So I may need a hand at this point in time. But we've got to try and work out the hotel. So let me just show you where I'm at, obviously. So I've turned the vehicle off. Let's not look at the code reader for now. Let's take this out of the way, right? Ignition on, clutch in, and she starts up beautiful once she's once she's been almost warmed up a little bit. I don't know if these caddies have glow plugs, I haven't looked yet. Probably best of you guys let me know in the comments if they have got glow plugs as well as injectors, but again, look, you're talking to a guy who's not a mechanic. I know that things have glow plugs, but I just don't know whether they exist on the engine and I haven't had a look yet because why go down a rabbit hole of glow plugs if it's not glow plugs because they don't exist? But I don't know if all cars have glow plugs. I don't know enough. I am not a mechanic. I'm a mechanic. I mean, I'm trying to find out where the problems are. So I'm going to check if we got glow plugs as well. She starts up once she's warm. It's the first initial start-up that she just absolutely shits herself with. She doesn't like it. But once you can see, once we've actually got her up and running, you know, we've only got that one light on the dashboard, and that's because one of the subscribers said to me that I bought knockoff Nigel bloody back lights, which I did, to be fair. They did say that they were VAG compatible, but again, it's only as VAG compatible as the piece of shit that you read on the adverts, isn't it? So, but look, she's just... No engine management light codes. She sounds and drives absolutely fantastic. It's just that start up. Now, if we're talking Autel code readers, I've ordered a cable for the VAG software because the VAG software is free, as everybody keeps telling me. I've ordered a USB to OBD reader just so I can have a look at the VAG software. But I can't for the life of me find out where the injector values would be. Now, I've got live data here. You know, I've got the live data, but I don't know what I'm looking at. So do you know what? This is the first time I'm gonna reach out and say, I think I'm in need of some advice, guys. You know, I don't know. But remember, she's running fine now. She sounds beautiful. But I don't know if I'm looking at throttle valve, if I'm looking at injectors, if I'm looking at 
fuel pressure you know is fuel pressure something that could potentially cause it to, to, to sort of not start initially or is it the glow plugs has it got glow plugs and do I need to uh, do I need to find where they are and I'm sure they're only a couple of quid and dead easy to replace before I even start diving into the injector elements but a couple of subscribers have said to me John why don't you try putting some of that um, not VAG approved, well, VAG approved, but almost some of that injector cleaner into your fuel tank and then go and run it for 150 miles or something just to see if that's sorted out. So I'm going to put that in first, I'm going to try that before anything else. The car cranks over, That's, you know, it, it cranks absolutely fine, I've got to give it a little bit of gas to get it going, but then it stops. So it does start to point fuel related, but is that because the injectors are clogged up and they need cleaning, or is that because we've got a fuel related issue somewhere else? But once she's running, surely if I had a fuel problem, then it would not start, it wouldn't maintain, and it wouldn't start up first time like this does. Click the key, and once she's been started up and she's warm, she starts up absolutely fine. So at the minute guys, I'm at a little bit of a loss. I am going to put a video out changing the door cable, I am going to put a video out this week changing or putting the wheel arch liner on, I've also hopefully got a nice set of fresh alloys to come to go on the car, but what I don't want to do is keep investing in the vehicle if she's not fit for purpose. Now she is fit for purpose when she starts, but she's got a little bit of a problem first. So we're going to get that injector, injector cleaner stuff in the tank, probably by tomorrow I think that arrives when this video comes out. I'm going to video putting it in, I'm going to take it for a run and I'm going to see the next morning if it's any better because I've heard that these injectors can all just get clogged up and if it was an eject injector issue I would have it all the time, it wouldn't just be on start up, but I need you guys to comment. So guys, please help me out, drop a comment in the chat below, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys this week on the main video. Like a drug there